Hello and welcome back. Let's quickly see how to scatter some points by painting some attribute on the surface. Let's get started. Let's drop a geometry and name it scatter by paint. Let's go inside and drop a grid and increase the subdivisions. We have a grid like this. So if you are annoyed by the gizmos, you can just always press escape in the viewport to get rid of that. Let's paint on the surface. So to paint on a surface, we have something called attribute paint. Drop it and connect it to the grid. It will look like this. There is no change as of now. We just select this attribute paint and go over to the viewport and press enter. Your grid is going to suddenly change into this color. What this means is it currently has a mask value of 0. By default this attribute paint will create a mask attribute which is 0. So once you start painting on here, the mask attribute will change and you can see the visualization of what you paint here. So let's increase the radius of the brush. We can see the shortcut here. It's control shift plus left click and start painting on this. We have painted some values. You can see some changes in this attribute. Previously it was completely zero everywhere and now we have some values which means we, are, we have painted our attribute successfully. Let's, let's say I want to scatter only in this area. I don't want to scatter anything here. Let's drop a scatter soap. By default it's going to scatter everywhere but there is this density attribute toggle once you enable this it will give you some error because we don't have an attribute called density but what we have is an attribute called mask so just rename this to mask and once you do that you can clearly see it's scattering only on where we painted so we can just paint live here and it's going to update the points you can see it's updated so that's how you, you scatter some points by using hand painted attributes so hope that's helpful let's meet in the next video thank you bye bye